missing from the audio wise. Um, I'm doing good. <clears throat> We're gonna be playing the Resident Evil 7 demo today, at least a new version last night, or in America just literally an hour ago, known as the Twilight version. I have put myself to be pretty blind on this, but I am aware there's a lot of people that are debating if the demo is a troll and is just a dead end where you get to a certain point where you just can't do anything more. Or maybe they watched the reception of the last demo and they put something incredibly cryptic in to continue. Could be either or. So I'm just going to give a heads up here. We're probably going to play and see some new stuff, and then there's probably going to come a point where we have no idea what we're doing, and then we're going to be sort of keeping up with the community to see what di quote-unquote discoveries happen. But just know that there's a very big chance this might be a stream of us not knowing what to do or even if there is anything to do for a period of time. I will let this be heard and let this be known very early in. Just kind of know that's, that's kind of what we're headed towards. Also, unfortunately, there will be a pretty big delay between what I say and what I do, I guess. Uh, part of that fact. No, man, you know what? There might be a way for me to fix that, though. It might be different than usual. <clears throat> you know what? There is actually a way I could fix this. I am going to do something very different than what I usually do. This will take me a second to get set up, though, so if you'll give me a moment there. Um, let's do this. I want to see if you guys can hear me twice in just a second. Let's see... Hmm... Okay. So, you guys are going to have to give me a solid to see if you, uh... Let's see. You might hear me in echo form in a second, just as a heads up there, so... Tell me if you can hear me twice, because that is actually very important for me to know. To see um, if you, uh, yeah. let's see. If you can hear me you twice. You might hear me in I echo hear form in a your second, guys audio. as a heads up there. So if you hear me so twice, that's a good thing. Tell me if you can hear me yes, twice, because that is actually twice, very important for me it. to know. Um, but yeah. yeah. If you can hear me twice. The other me might sound a little bit lower quality. Because I can't hear your guys' audio. All right, so if you that hear means let me do it like this. Just say yes, and then you'll stop hearing me twice, because then I can fix it. But yeah, I... the other me might sound a little bit lower quality. It's because I'm using a different microphone. All right, that means let me do it like this. Okay, so there's gonna be a little bit delay more than usual, and I'm gonna sound a little bit lower quality than usual. Maybe a little bit different. Actually, I don't know. I'm using a different headset. Uh, this is so the what I say will be on sync with what I'm actually doing. So yeah, I... echo, 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 echo. All right, you guys are real to see in a second. So. We're going to start this Resident Evil 7 demo, and there will be a little bit of delay between what you guys post and what I say, but the delay won't actually be in the gameplay because of the system which I'm doing right now. Let's get ourselves going, though. Display language, obviously English. Oh, that's why I should turn off the lights by the fact I don't think it's going to scare me, but that's okay. It's moody. Display language, subtitles, of course. Let's choose both. Resident Evil 7, beginning hour. They did make the title screen begin, now it's actually more of like a title screen. You could purchase Resident Evil 7, but I'm waiting for that to go up on Steam. I hope the goddamn update goes to Steam pretty soon. Anyways, I'm going to do like a YouTube introduction and probably post this as some super long video like I did last time the Resident Evil 7 demo came around. Let's see. Options? Let me look at that first. Actually, I'm going to introduce myself first. Hey everyone, this is Dusko Maka Aesthetic Gamer, and right now we're playing Resident Evil 7 Beginning Hour. Um, I should mention this one right now. This is us blindly going around to see if we can discover secrets. And it's us, me, first of all, playing blindly on good old, well, I guess the new Resident Evil 7 demo. This is known as Resident Evil 7 Beginning Hour Twilight Version, which is a second update. Now, I haven't spoiled myself for what's new in the update, but I've heard a lot of people have hit a dead end. So probably what this is going to be is like about 30 minutes of me discovering new stuff and then hours of me trying dumb stuff and not even finding anything. And... In the end, just being like, oh, we didn't find anything. Da, 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 da. I will be reading up some community message boards, NeoGAF and Reddit, because they're probably going to be exploring this demo and trying to see if there's anything new with it as well. Um, and then, of course, the debate if there even is anything new after a certain point, or if the Capcom listened to the reception from the last demo and decided to put in some really incredibly cryptic things to continue, so fans wouldn't solve it in, like immediately like they did last time. 
Anyways, I've also heard that there is Mummerains, that there might also be a third update to this demo in December, which I guess makes sense because that's when the PlayStation Con is. It's when PSX is. And also it's a month before Resident Evil 7 actually releases. There's new Resident Evil 7 stuff that released, which I recommend looking into if you're all interested about it. Um, also, this is being recorded in an incredibly weird method. Basically, I am streaming through Twitch and then streaming through Hitbox because at the moment PlayStation 4 doesn't support a Hitbox app. Also, I might sound different than usual because I'm using this uh, headset. I, I don't know how good or bad I sound on it, but that's okay. Let's go to Options and see what we see immediately. Controls. Wireless controller vibration. Well, I mean, if my controller wants to vibrate, I'm not going to stop it. Aim Assist. So since there's not a gun, that wouldn't be on. In fact, huh, that's a little bit notable that aim assist isn't, you know, there. Well, no, but maybe it would mean that there's, like, no enemies. I'm not sure if there's a new gun or not on this, but since aim assist is off, you would assume not. Camera inversion. I don't like doing the inversion, personally. Camera speed being fast is good for me. Camera acceleration. Let's let's put on that. I don't really like camera acceleration. <clears throat> Invert those buttons. I'll keep that off. I'll keep that off, too. A lot of inverting options. They basically let you invert whatever, which I guess is nice. Allows you, for those who like to use the control sticks inverted or left and right handed, that feels more comfortable. I, I think that's a positive, honestly, a net positive. All right, how about display? Hmm. Display tells me camera wobble. I could turn that off, but you know what? I want to keep it on. I'm one of those people that, I, as long as the wobbling isn't like the characters like literally decapitated and their head is dangling off the stump of their neck, I, I, I think it's fine. Honestly, it's, it's, it's fine. All right, how about tutorial messages? Sure, tutorial me up. Phone icon, that's new. Set the icon that's displayed when the phone rings to on or off. That is new from the last version of the demo. I'm going to turn that on, but weird. Okay, HUD. I, you know, when I actually play Resident Evil 7, I'm going to be turning this off because I prefer to play horror games without a HUD. But for the moment, I'm going to keep that on. Reticle, only display when aiming. Now, the fact that there's not a reticle option to me implies that there isn't a gun yet. So I'll have to keep that in mind. Also, the default reticle color is white. I can also adjust brightness, but who wants to do that? All right, let's see. Audio. Music's all good. Dynamic range, speaker type, virtual sound, language... There's voice languages, but I can't switch. English, subtitles, looks good to me. Now then. Let's see. That, that, that's basically all we need to do in options. Let's get started immediately with Resident Evil 7, the beginning hour. Teaser. So this is going to become a game of spot the differences. Oh. Oh. Let's see what differences there are. Can you see what's different with this from you and me? So, get out of the house. That is always the um, goal. First of all, there is a missing chair immediately. I can see that. The second thing I can tell immediately is that this picture has changed. Originally, it was just a picture of Family Man, who we now know whose name is Jack Baker. Now it looks like it's Jack Baker and a family. And this is actually kind of important because... The Baker family is obviously super important to Resident Evil 7. In fact, taking a look here, there are four members of the family, and here's why four members of the family is already mighty suspicious. In almost all of the Resident Evil 7 promotional material, Jack Baker and Margaret Baker have been the people that have been featured. Jack Baker is the family man that does the famous, and we're probably going to see it while we play this, Welcome to the family, son, and punches you and all that fun stuff. Meanwhile, Margaret Baker is the wife who we saw a bit more recently in the Resident Evil 7 trailer that released at Tokyo Game Show, but also was the woman that stalks you in the Lantern demo. However, though, I assume it looks like they have a boy and a girl here. The boy is Lucas, because we literally just saw him in the earlier trailer. This is them when they were younger or something, so this is obviously an old family photo. But we know that Lucas is the hooded person who's throwing food at you in the new Tokyo Game Show trailer. Now, the thing that's interesting... There is a woman here, or a gr little girl, it's not a woman. Uh, it, <laughs> if, I, if I went down the street and be like, hey, that's a nice woman you have there. Well, it's like a five-year-old. What? But I was going to say, um, however, though, in all of the promotional material, there's been a weird ghost girl that's been featured in, you know, everything. So, but in the actual family shots of the Baker family, we haven't seen a little girl or a girl. They have an elderly woman, Camille, apparently in a wheelchair, but... 
that would imply that the ghost girl who's inside all the Resident Evil 7 promotional material and also makes cameo appearances in this demo is in fact uh, their daughter, which I guess is maybe a little bit guesswork that you could have made. That was actually my guess for a while until the son came in the picture, but since they evidently do have a son and a daughter, that's something which I'm going to note right now and spend so much time focusing on that. Now, being me, I'm going to be taking my time and looking through everything. Like, here we have everyone's favorite book. Look at those books. Enjoy the books. Hmm. All right. They've actually changed a number of things, uh, notably. The textures look like they're a little bit higher quality to me. And also, they've changed around some things. The most obvious right now being the picture and that there is now a chair missing. But there's other differences, too. Ah, whatever. I'll observe this. This is my blind room where I'm probably get family son. I shall dash them against the stones with nothing written on the back. That's fine. I'll put that away. Now, we already know this because we played this demo before, but there's a hidden passage thing right here. Let me take you. Open sesame. I'm going to push this aside and look around. Is this... Oh, right, the fuse. That's what we... Right, that's on the table. Look at all those cockroaches go. The basement spooks in the night. They've actually added new details to the environment, which is notable. Uh, probably they decided to make it look a little bit more graphically nice in some ways because the last thing, but there's little small details that you wouldn't really notice unless because you looked at everything like everyone did in the original Resident Evil 7 demo, so. <clears throat> Speaking of which, nice ceiling fan. I almost feel like you could pull that. I don't remember this hanging down so low. Is that, is that a new detail? I'm trying to note everything that's different in my mind, because anything that's different has the potential to be something new. Hi, TV. You don't have videotape. Honestly, though, who does have a videotape in this day and age, right? No, uh, honestly speaking, I got some old videotapes laying around. I still have a VCR. In fact, I have one right there. I can see it right now. I could play the piano, but why would I want to do that? That is that, was that the same? I think that was the same picture. The fuse thing's been updated. Yeah, this has definitely been updated. Danger. One floor, second floor, stairs, third floor. Stairs is missing. I could put the fuse there. Hmm. Use a fuse box to restore power. Well, I guess I will. Ta-da! Spooky music. I don't know if you guys can actually hear the music, but there is spooky music that just kicked in, and there was when somebody was walking by there. Somebody's been injecting themselves full of, I guess, whatever this drug is. Probably has deeper implications, because I doubt it's just a drug. Maybe it's like zombie virus virals. Vitals. Vials. But, anyways, let's go outside and see what's going on. Yes, I can open the door. I've made the tutorial side happen. I can open it slowly, even. That door has changed a lot since the last time I saw it. It now has something like moss or slime growing out of it. And you know, that's actually important probably, and almost all the res... There's a voice. In almost all of the Resident Evil 7 promotional material, there's like this stuff growing over everything. No, most people haven't even noticed... Oh, Jesus. Um... Most people haven't even noticed it, really. Basically, um, if you've watched like the original Resident Evil 7 trailer and then some of the screenshots, there's like this weird vine stuff that grows over everything. And the fact that this is a door with a weird moss thing growing over it seems suspicious to me. Where's the what? Where does this wire go? Huh. I'll look a little bit closely. Yep. Yeah. Because I'm capturing this through PlayStation 4 share, there might be music that's missing, I should uh, clarify, because I think that for some reason the music doesn't capture. The song that's playing right now is actually relatively creepy. It does remind me of something that we played in Resident Evil 1, the remake, so that's good. It's also new because I don't recognize this song. I feel like I would recognize it if I had heard it before. Listen to the slime sound. Mmm, delectable slime. Sludge all over the walls. All right, well, let's give this a solid chance.
Ah, the door shook back. Maybe it's like the Rebecca secret in the original Resident Evil 2, where you have to check like the garbage can 50 times. Maybe I should try finding a garbage can and trying this, actually. We're gonna be trying every dumb thing imaginable at the moment, even though we're probably not gonna find anything, so... Literally, you can't shake the door down here. I can enjoy my favorite slime corner, though. Which is, in fact, a new addition. I'm hugging the door and wall as much as I goddamn can! Okay, I don't think there's anything with this door at the moment. Does it say something on it? It's a little bit hard to tell. Let's have fun with this. Alright, I should probably stop messing with this door. You guys are going to see the chat for one second. Hi, chat. Bye, chat. Alright. That door, suspicious. But maybe you can't do anything with it. I, I do honestly think there'll be a third... Um whatever. But the fact that there's moss growing over it definitely does remind of those vine stuff in the actual Resident Evil 7 promotional material. Someone should get this wallpaper checked out. You can see the pasty white which is used to glue the walls over. Alright, so anything else that's particularly of noteworthy. There's a lamp there. Is there always a lamp there? I, I don't know. Something decreptic in the floor, or in the ceiling, really. The broken mirror, as always, and nothing here. Do we still have the straw dolls? We still have the straw dolls. They're adorable, honestly. I wish, I wish I could just make a few and hang them up from my ceiling. Not really, but you know, they, they, they've got their charm. This door is still boarded up to hell. You can feel it, though. In the end, isn't that all we really wanted to do? Feel up a door. There's a bucket. There's nothing on the shelves. So there's still, yep, there's still the cans and what I assume is bleach up there. Now the cans are everyone's favorite nishi. We got game. I think it's just a can in the back there that's literally just called beans. Everyone's favorite brand of beans. Now, of course, we have to talk about the thing, which probably has now a purpose in this demo. I'm going in blind, so this is me not knowing stuff. The dummy finger. Hey. I won't interact with it yet. I could reveal that. I forgot about this picture of the guy with a bag on his head. Think he enjoys having his face felt? I think so. Alright, th is there also that salmon thing? Yeah, it's still there. This always gets ignored when people talk about the Resident Evil 7 demo. But to me, it's one of the most interesting things. I wish they could just reach up and pressing just like one of those salmon songs. I, I don't think it's one of those singing dancing salmon, but... Don't let my dreams be just dreams. Anyways, also can you... Yeah, you can see him a little bit better now than you could originally. I think there was something else here that usually blocked the way for you to actually look at him. Now he seems a lot closer, or bigger. Either or, but he's more noticeable now. Some of the pictures that we've seen. I'm assuming this is a picture of the good old bayou over there. Anything in the trash heap that's new. Surprise, it's still a trash heap. You can hear crickets now, though, which is new. Don't recall hearing crickets before. Turn around and not gonna open that up yet because I'm still suspicious. Hi. For some reason, this looks graphically better than I remember it looking. I'm not sure if that's just my imagination at play or if there's actually was a graphical update to the demo. Either or, let's look around a little bit. Everyone's favorite ceiling setup. So food played a pretty big role in the recent trailer that played. Do you think food's important somehow? Also, what am I pushing? Oh, the chair. Ah. Another chair? Ah, the chairs are all pretty actually movable. Everyone can enjoy their favorite plucked chicken. Crow's still in the microwave? Yeah, it's still in the microwave. Looks happy to see us. Which, you know, compliment. I'm not trying to say too much. I think it looks cute. Back there you go. This thing going to fall out of the fridge. Yes. Everyone's favorite bags of meat. Hmm. We still got also the spaghetti that's for some reason in the fridge. I That was one of the things I just need to remember the most outside of this falling over. Somebody just stuffed a 
box of spaghetti uncooked and everything right there in the fridge. This is probably still going to be locked. Well, not that. One of these is locked. Where was the god? Was it you? Yep, yeah, there it is. There's a small keyhole. You don't say. It's chained shut. Okay, so before I get too deep into this, let me activate the stairs and I'll let the stairs do the thing. Here I come, stairs. What's up here? Somebody made a big old mess upstairs. I definitely don't recall that. Hi. You guys are mannequins. Yes, they are. There's also boxes and some other things. I'm going to activate the power because we activated it. Might as well take advantage of it. Oh, the mannequins turned around. I wasn't looking. Okay, that's cool. A lot sooner than I was expecting, even. Now, there is a phone wire. I also hear weird sounds. There's a lot more ambient noises in this. Can I push you guys around? Nope. I'm not going to go upstairs yet, though. I just wanted to get this activated to get out of the way. Is that crazy? I'm just saw something. That's probably just my imagination. Let's go downstairs. I also want to go to VHS World, though, because I want to get the axe. It was tempting. All right, so get the get distracted by cans in the drawer for a second. Just take a note of my settings. Turn the sink on. Stops the drippy water, which is a shame. Anything inside this? A cockroach I got in my hand? Yes. Delectable. All right. Now we go and get those pliers or cutters, whatever it was, to cut that open. So we get the VHS tape and go to VHS World. Peekaboo. Also, does the doll come out of nowhere again? There were, Okay, so I've looked at this demo a lot of times. There wasn't a weird-looking light bulb like that. I definitely would have recalled that. that that's quite exquisite. Hmm... I still want to see if this... This is also new. The, at least I think it is. The problem is it's been a while since I played the demo. You should get out if you had a key. I want to see if this pops up out of nowhere again. I'll push you along. Come on, little dolly. Come on, little dolly. Oh, come on, little doll. I'm pushing you around now. Little doll. Little doll. There we go. I want to bring it to the kitchen. Fortunately, it's kind of, kind of making this difficult. There you go, dolly. You got the right attitude. I like ya. Live in the kitchen with me, will ya? It'll live in the kitchen with me. Stand and melt in the sunlight. It looks like something that would melt in the sunlight, doesn't it? So I'll leave you there. Now then, let's use the pliers and get this all cut out. I like to use the bolt cutters. That's what they were. Not pliers. What, what idiot would think those are pliers? <sighs> bolt cutters, obviously. And there's the derelict house footage. Oh boy. Since it's called the derelict house footage, you know what I bet? I bet this location is actually an area in Resident Evil 7 because in the recent Famitsu article, they said that there was a location in the game called the derelict house and it says the derelict house footage and it's footage of this house. But I bet what you do is different. That'd be my bet. I should also probably look at it inside my inventory. Is there new options? Uh, let me look. Uh, what are the options? Use item, discard item, examine item, combine item. Yeah, it's all about the same. But they have new icons, I think. They don't look familiar to me. I'm going to examine. Look at those lovely bolt cutters. Could you just cut bolts with them all day? I guess someone could. Examine the videotape. It has no details and is dusty as hell. However, they will still work inside a VCR. Maybe it works in a VCR that's as equivalently dusty as the videotape itself. Probably not, but I'm making stuff up again. Alright, so let's actually run on ahead and go to the videotape section. Really upset dog was turned into that. Piano. Piano. 
All right, let's mess with this. Watch my videotape. This is one of my favorites. Derelict house. Did they change the details on this? Do not copy. Do not copy. Do not copy. Clancy Javis. Who? Where did you find this guy? Give me a break, Pete. Hey, I only work with professionals. Speaking of which, make sure the sound is right this time. I don't want a repeat of Amarillo. That was two fucking years ago. I don't do ADR. This new guy? I'm not feeling it. Uh, he says as I run off into the woods. Trying to catch high quality footage to the woods. Don't mind me. There are some pretty dark woods to be fair. Alright, ignoring that. Let's move a little bit closer where they actually want us to go. I'm wondering if there's something new. They, since a big mechanic of Resident Evil 7 is apparently these memory sequences, in this case a VHS tape, maybe more often a VHS tape. Did I just see something? No, just my imagination. Batting this around. Watch this go. Don't question me and my tactics. This is, this is really tough detective work, you know. It makes fun noises, though. Let's check right there. Nah, I don't see it in there. It looks the same as any other decrepit hallway to me. So there are different ghost sightings they can do in the Resident Evil 7 demo. One of them would have been up ahead, but I'm pretty sure I've already screwed up my chance to even see it. The idea is that at a certain point a ghost would appear... Really? Like there was it? Yeah, no, am I crazy? Nah, I'm probably just crazy. It would appear like right there in specific situations. Get out of the way. It's loud. After you. I'll go after you, folks. So, why are we in hell this time? Have you ever prep? What's that flash? What's the prep? Shitty house, spooky sounds. Ooh, is it haunted? Fuck me. I was an anchor, you know? We can sub, Pete. Not anchor. What's that? Nothing. One of the ghost signs is right there, which is why I'm looking at it. Farmhouse, missing family, foul play suspected. The usual. Hmm. How long do you say this place has been abandoned? Three years. <coughs> Clancy, get a shot of this. Let's make a great cutaway. So, uh, Hillbilly Joe and his family go missing. Not Hillbillies, the Bakers. Jack and Marguerite Baker. And they were quiet, not backward. A lot of bad rumors about their son, Lucas. I got still a crow in here. Ah, shit! I Is that Lucas line shit. new? Oh, shit. Glad I had my shots. Although... This would make a great backdrop. Andre, what do you think? Eh. Andre? He's gone. Andre! Andre! Clancy, you see where Andre went? Nope. Where is he? Oh, there was the ghost. Oh, Sorry. <laughs> I was wondering if we'd this see that one. I work with that guy. I mean, producers, they come and go. But a, a good cameraman like you, Clancy? You stick with me. Hi, hi. Glance about. Not too much to see. What the fuck 
There's no slime here in this timeline, notably. Oh, also, I need to do the thing to get the fire axe. I'm, how did I almost forget to even do that? There, this was discovered a lot sooner than most people would have expected. There's a hidden lockpick back here, and the hidden lockpick unlocks this over here. There's nothing in it right now, but I'll get some in a little bit later. But yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's go up here. That doesn't seem to lead to anything. No mannequins back here, though. Is there a new sound over here? I wonder if they put a secret with these headphones, because so many people suspected these headphones for so long. Hmm. Things to think about. I'm going to go back downstairs. And let's do the process to get us that brand new car. Now we're going to get something new that's inside the drawer there. Now he shows us the secret that we already know. Fuse is still missing, though. What the hell? You gotta be fucking kidding me. All right, new deal. There's a ghost appearance that can trigger right then, but I didn't get it to happen. Alas. I'll go down the goddamn ladder. Are you happy, sir? He's probably not happy, though. There's a lot of spooky sounds happening, and I'm not actually sure if the music's translating well, but let's look about. Hey, look, it's Andre. I'm sure he's fine. Gonna look around here for a little bit. There's trash bags. That seems important. Anything here? The VHS sequence seems mostly the same, but part of me is wondering if they're actually stuck something like it's a deeper secret in here because a big part of the game is VHS sequences being able to change things, so. Maybe there's something about that. Probably not, but maybe. I'm going to try to take it. I, I know what's about to happen. I'm going to try to run for it. Yeah, you got triggered to go here. There was a face in the static. That's fun. And now this is here. I shall dash you. I shall dash you against the stones. Is a new image from that. Now we've already done what they want us to do. So no changes here. I'm gonna go get the fire axe. And basically, to explain this one. Uh, the deal, Leo, to say it like that, is that now this will be open and now we get a fire axe. And now we can attack with a fire axe. Look at that. We can do other things with it too, though. We can hold it in front of us. We can hold it. If you hold the button, what would you have to hold to do a powerful attack? You have a regular swing. I think that was the powerful attack. No, there's something for a powerful attack. Peekaboo. I'll check over here with my brand new fire axe. I just like breaking stuff. No, can I break this? I'm actually surprised it hit it, but that's okay. You look nice. Okay. What else was in here? Hmm. 
When is this game supposed to be available? Uh, the full game releases on January either 21st or 24th in America. I think it's the 24th. It I know it releases on the 26th in Japan. Why do I hear crickets? What a random time for cricket noises. Anyway, since we did the thing earlier, hopefully the passageway is open. I just wanted to get the axe first. I'm also not going to pick up the finger yet, because I feel like everyone's going to pick up the finger first to figure out what they do with it, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to be different. Goddamn mannequins. And it all came tattered to pieces. Think I can break these mannequins? Not these specific mannequins. He won't hit them. Bell, you could break the mannequins upstairs in the original. I don't know why you can't break those. Probably because they're tied to an event. Let's go upstairs and have the phone ring. But we're not going to answer it. Oh, hey, the phone doesn't ring yet. I find that surprising, actually. Now, we're going to probably start getting the stuff that was different from the original outside of small changes. I see you, boards. Well, oh well, it is what it is. I'll go over this way. I'm not going to answer that goddamn phone. Because there's something new here. The wall's caved in for unknown reasons. Is the picture of Umbrella still here? Yeah, you can rotate it. You can see upside down Umbrella. Why can't I turn it around? Okay, like that. Okay, dur. Are they watching us from the helicopter? It's a mystery. I'll put that back. Not gonna mess with that phone right now. Well, that was unfortunate. You fine? It's fine. A piece of plywood just got stuck there. I want to start doing the shadow theory in a little bit. <laughs> how it worked last time. Anyways, let's see what's in this new room. Peekaboo. Where are we going to look there? Conspiracies of all the fun stuff. So let, let's start our salt book because, of course, I haven't seen in here yet. So it looks like an attic, though. Well, it certainly does. Where are you? Ah, handgun ammo. Is that got my inventory? Standard handgun ammo. Let's examine. It does, in fact, look like Resident Evil series handgun ammo. Who would have thunk? I'll put it that way. Eh. Break a little bit more here. Notably, the crate that had handgun ammo in it looks different, so maybe I'm supposed to imply there's items in it, which is kind of weird. There is a basement key, but I'm not going to mess with that yet, so I'm going to instead walk over here. Is there anything under the bed? Is there spooky scaries underneath this bed? I'm gonna look. Aha! The handgun ammo! So then I had four of the ammos. Hardy, hardy bed. Oh, hi, mannequins. I just wanted to do that. Nothing inside that crate. There is a window. I'll think about it in a second. What, what's in here? It's a locked door. Now, this, the key which I had wouldn't open that because that's not the basement, whatever. Hmm. That looks boarded up to hell. TVs. Ah. Object made of celluloid. However, though... Before I climb the ladder, how can you pick that up from this weird angle? Let's find out. Ah, that's probably the thing everyone thinks the dummy finger's for. Also, there's Ryan here. Five guests murdered, but when is unknown. Nothing to point to the final gravestone. Five guests murdered, but where is unknown. I thought I don't know why I said I thought I said when. Nothing to point to their final gravestone. This is, I think, the thing everyone's like stuck at. So what, what, what I? Oh, it's you. Break a roo, break a roo, break a leg. You. I will not pick up the basement key yet. 
Let's see. And I'm assuming that this is like locked or something. It's a window. It's locked. It seems to lead outside. Well, we can have dreams. Let me see if you turn around. You can't really fully turn around. I can't see my arms, though. What lovely arms. Alright. Just gonna kinda look around, because I'm a silly goose. I'm gonna be suspicious of this. Peekaboo. Not a do. None for you. Here I am. Alright, so... What do we have on this? Can I associate you with a thing? Combine items. No. I know they can't combine with any of this stuff. I just want to do that. Let's examine. It's got a little bulb which you can attach to. And obviously they want you to take the finger and put it into this. Then it looks like you're doing a handgun. <laughs> <sighs> I think they're trolling with people. They're giving you handgun ammo. And I doubt there's a gun, because if you go to your options menu, there's none of the options for anything with the gun. You can't turn on aim assist, you can't change your reticle color or aiming inversion or whatever but yet the thing that they're gonna literally give you because if you combined the finger with this it'd be in the figure of a handgun <laughs> oh <laughs> anyways there was a way to equip items to this I mean how you do that pew pew how did you do that can I discard it no Examine, combine, use. No. I f there was a way to associate items here like this. But I forget what it is. Well, maybe it's just the axe for me right now. Maybe the shadow of the axe will lead the way. <laughs> is there anything else notable about this room? There is a light at the very top of the fact why what? Why is there a chair stuck there? Huh. This is a legitimate question. Why is there a chair stuck in the rafters? Like, why is there more than one chair stuck in the rafters? What the hell? That seems randomly precarious. There's just a bunch of chairs stuck up there. Were people trying to have, like, a ceiling diner dinner? No? Uh, maybe... It's hard to say. Also, since this is literally a trash can, if only there was a way for me to examine it 20 bajillion times. On account that that's what you could do in Resident Evil 2 to get the Rebecca pictures. Hand the gun, the gravestone. There's no gravestone, so. I just like wiggling sticks. Now, let's... I'm not gonna read this again, but maybe... Hmm... I'm very much debating. There was hanging ammo there, hanging ammo here. I still haven't done everything I know, but I'm afraid I'm about to hit the same standstill that everyone else is in. It's locked. It seems to lead outside. That's what they say. That door is mysteriously locked, and it's like the door downstairs, maybe. If 
If we go over here, the trash can seems like a trash can. The bed seems like a bed. What's going on with the bed? I don't know what's going on with the bed. I still haven't picked up the basement key, but I'm also going to go upstairs. This is a basement key, which literally just says basement on it. The problem is, is there even a basement door that's really, like, unlocked? There, There's a door that looks like it'd lead to the basement, but... To my knowledge, it doesn't actually lead to the basement right now. So if I pay, the problem is I'm thinking to myself, if this is the Resident Evil, but here, here's a thought process. Let's say that you had the reception to the original Resident Evil 7 demo that was had. You know, the whole everybody went fucking crazy and started trying to dig out secrets everywhere. So at the moment, they provide things. And maybe they lead to nothing. I feel like a lot of people are going to assume so. What I figure is going to happen... And this is just my guess. I'm going to pick up the basement key, but I can't even think of a door it currently goes to. There's only one door which seems like it'd go to a basement key to me. And that door is currently boarded up. So maybe that doesn't lead to anything right now. Maybe that's like our dummy item. But then if I put the hand together and make the object made of celluloid, it's not made of celluloid. You know what it's, what it's for. But if I combine the finger with it, maybe that just doesn't lead to anything. And, but then there's also this message here, which seems a little bit too conspiracy. It says, five guests murdered, but where is unknown? Nothing to point to their final gravestones. That seems like a puzzle. The store seems locked. Now, is it all just a bunch of malarkey? Does not lead to anything? Or did Capcom decide to go in some super cryptic direction and there's some solution to this? But because people went crazy with literally doing anything they could think of in the previous demo, they've made the answer to this something extremely obtuse that no one's really figured it out yet. I'm also going to after I get to that point, which I feel like I'm very close to getting to, I'm going to just kind of roll with the punches. Also, there's a lantern there. It's a nice lantern, honestly. Ah. <clears throat> okay. I will fall for the trap. I'll pick up the key. I knew that was a trap! I knew it! I knew I shouldn't have picked up that key. Basement fun. I'm not answering you. Phone gonna go fuck itself, but because I turned the notification on, it really wants to remind me. All right, this is the door that be there. <clears throat> I'm gonna go downstairs. I haven't combined fingers yet. I'm just gonna be on my way. Don't mind me. There might be. I, there probably is a new combo on the phone. But, you know, like, a new convo. If I get that convo, I'm going to get Family Man, though. Everyone knows it's going to happen. Unfortunately, I'm 90% sure this key cannot be used here. Uh, part of a dummy's hand made out of celluloid. <sighs> I'll do it. This could be the run where I get Family Man, I can already tell. Dummy's hand with only the index finger attached. Seems to also have part of a thumb. And guess why? Stars, that's kind of a weird thing with the shadow there. But it makes a handgun. Why is there a weird shadow over it? Make a weird shout for all items, or what? Huh. I'm getting suspicious. Let me let me try something. This is suspicious. You wanna know why this is suspicious? Do you notice that? Okay, so here's why this is really suspicious. Every other item is not actually in the environment. 
You can look at every other item, and it just has its own natural lighting and shadowing and all that. Because if you look at how everything else is reacting to the shadows, I mean, it, it's not really being affected by the shadows in the real-world environment. You see that? But when you do it with the hand... Let me go a little bit closer there again. Every other item doesn't have a physical place in the actual world. However, though, it seems that the finger, for some reason, actually has... It's being rendered in the actual environment. Yep, the finger in hand is an actual environment in the world. So... Hmm... That's conspicuous. And last time everybody went crazy with guessing if the finger would, like, point at something, so... Hmm... Hmm... Yeah, the hand is definitely being rendered in the real-world environment, it even gets affected by lighting and everything. This has its own self-made line, which doesn't really get affected by stuff in the real world. Suspicious. There are no graves to point at, unfortunately, but... It is what it is what it is. Wait. <laughs> I hit that light? Actually, you can. That's nice. Did the phone just give up? What was that? Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Was I crazy, or no? Maybe that was just glowing and I mistook it for something else. That's probably what it was. I'm going to be way too suspicious. There might not even be anything. This is, this is the problem. Uh, there's going to be people who are like, there's probably nothing more, and then there's not going to be as many people searching, because they're like, ah, we'll probably have to wait for the next demo, which is probably true, in part. But I think but maybe there's a little bit more. I don't fucking know. All depends. Look at that family. I'll make them some gravestones. Wait a second, I'm gonna ask that girl a question. I like how it went. Kill the girl in the picture, she's a ghost anyway. We don't need no ghost girls in our whatever. Also, you guys gonna see the chat for a second. Move around, move about. Now we already have this open, and we've already got the all settled in. So if the finger is a real-world object, can it point to downstairs? Oh yeah, the back door key. Forgot that would spawn. Finger. Shh. <laughs> Be my holy light. Time to <laughs> give an index finger to everybody. Actually. Everyone would have tried this. There's no way that nobody, not everyone tried this. If you go up to this, and since the girl is somebody that's not there, you point the finger at the girl. Because she's the ghost girl and everything. It only makes sense. Because she's not in any of the promotional material. You're the ghost girl, girl. Everyone knows it. I At least I know it. <clears throat> Ain't no Sadako. Maybe if I point it like a gun. <laughs> what if that was actually it? Because they give you all the handgun bullets, you have to point this like a handgun. Especially because it's actually rendered in the real world. It's an amusing thought still, though. That's it, yeah. Just move the finger one over and... Flip off the bird. But because it's shaped like a handgun, and because it's rendered in the real world object, maybe you're supposed to hold it like a handgun and point it at something. And fire! Nah, I mean, I'm not shooting bullets. You squirt, you're gonna be Lucas. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. I know. <laughs> I'm just amused by the thought there. <clears> hmm. <throat> 
Should we finally get family manned? Should we choose what form of family man we're gonna family? What if I like load up my gun and shoot him as he passes by the hallway? I'm gonna fire at you when you pass. Boom! Family man dead. <laughs> Still though. <clears throat> Problem is I don't think I can pull down time. Boom, you're dead, family man. Ah, uh, was too slow. <laughs> okay. Well, let's go back to the magical world of the VCR and the VHS tape. Can I combine it? No. I'm gonna go through the videotape again like a champ. You want you want a finger? That's not a videotape, <laughs> you silly goose. Is this a videotape? Truly, what is even a videotape? Do we know what a videotape is? I don't think we do. There's voices whispering in the background. What if I return the finger to the past? Put it back to the past where it belongs. Put it behind the shelf. Maybe it'll transfer back in time. <laughs> Just making shit up at this point. All right. How about you, Crow? You've been mighty non-conspicuous this whole entire time. No one suspects the Crow. What if I have to point my gun at you? Boom. All right. That's probably nothing. There is going to probably be a new demo in December. However, if there's something additional more here, if it's just a dead end. The problem with this, and I... You can kind of suspect both things. Well, actually, they did say where. Ah, whatever. Look, finger, it's a clock. Mike's being pointed. I know I didn't answer the phone. The crow is dead. It was dead all along. How about you, bag person? Do you want a loaded finger? Of course he does. Why wouldn't he? Is the real question. Hmm. Point where the straw men straw actually wait one two three four five one two three four five six now there's seven seven like resident evil seven Not that doll. Doesn't appear to be this doll. Finger ain't doing nothing. Everyone needs to suspect the finger. It's not the basement key, which has no purpose at the moment, probably. The basement key was just a goddamn trap. <clears throat> it triggered the phone, which would lead to a family man scene, and then voila. Pow. Boom. Headshot. Let's see. Nothing there. No, 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 sirree. What if it was the beans all along? Actually, what the hell? Probably ruined whatever was just going on there. I wish I didn't spack out of there so quickly. The finger was actually start slowly moved down itself. But 
then they did that in the original demo, and the troll was just a glitch, so I don't fucking know. Let's see. Of course, there's also the whole thing about when you go inside here. It's, what if I point to where your hand came from? Hmm. Back in you go. Everybody's a locksmith. That is one ruined doorknob. Oh. Locksmith it? I didn't remember I have my axe also. Huh. Get in that slime. The axe is a real-world object, too, so let's see what goes behind this while I mess with it. It'll be the ultimate tell of what's in the, what's rendered in the real world and what's not. So this is not rendered in the real world. It doesn't go behind the slime. The axe and the finger are rendered in the real world. The videotape is not rendered in the real world because it doesn't go behind the slime or anything like that. It is just its own thing. The handgun bullets are not rendered in the real world. Because they don't go behind the slime. The basement key is not rendered in the real world. And this key is not rendered in the real world. However, though, the axe, of course, is rendered in the real world, as we can clearly see there. And for some reason, the dummy finger is rendered in the real world. Which I find mighty suspicious, but you know, it is what it is, what it is. Right back at ya. I'm gonna go through another videotape run, because I'm a funny guy. Put that videotape, put that videotape in. I'll try using the key in a second, but I don't think that's going to work. Huh. Boo! Where did you find this guy? Give me a break, Pete. Hey, I only work with professionals. Speaking of which... Make sure the sound is right this time. I don't want a repeat of Amarillo. That was two fucking years ago. I don't do ADR. Hmm. I'm not feeling it. Again? Just don't be surprised if we have to make a change. Good plan. We do a walk through the inside first. Then we shoot the intro. Just like we always do. Just try to say the show's name this time, okay? No problem. Tonight on Sewer Gators, another worthless fucking skit. Happy? Static. Don't mind me, my com compadres. I'm just looking. One thing is, is that maybe the five graves thing could reference they need to trigger five ghost sightings. Because those are literal ghosts. And something about graves. I've already triggered one. I don't think in like one go, I, that, that'd be a little bit too... Could you always go back here? Now then... The tape is coming inside the house. Hmm. You guys go on without me. I'm having a dumb moment. They're very, very patient with me, honestly. It's weird. There's like an invisible wall here, but it's very specific. I don't remember you coming, being able to come back here last time at all, though. 
And I was out here for a while trying to look at things. Anything off deep inside the woods? Right, I don't have my finger anymore. Peekaboo. I'm just looking through the brushwork. work, don't mind me. Ah, let's see. What if I push the chair from both sides? Push that there, one second. Yes, uh, yes, I got it. I know what you're against. Yep, I knew it. Someone wanted to talk to me right there. Garbage would be taking out fun. Let's move that about. No. Sir E, Sir Kick, nothing there. They don't seem very excited about this. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just pushing the bench around. It's invigorating. <laughs> My favorite. There's one of the ghost girl appearances right there. You think it'd be related to the five ghost whatevers? Because that's the closest thing you can think of to graves. At least the closest thing I can think of to graves. I'll enjoy myself in my little corner hole. Now, would there actually be anything different out here? You can see a water tower watching you from the distance if you're very observant. And have your brightness turned up. Where am I walking in? Is there a puddle here? Don't see anything in the windows. Don't see anything back here. Nothing in these little brushes here? Nope, not that I can tell. Nice deck! What is that? It's called Ever Colon, of course. Anything through the windowsills? Evidently not. Where are these roots even growing from? Is there like a tree growing on top of the house? Very well be so. Anything on ground level. Negatory, Captain. I think I just found the edge where I can explore. Anything hidden in all these plants I'm moving through? Probably not, but you don't know unless you try. Well, that's interesting. I don't see anything on the floors. I don't actually think there's anything outside, but if you don't check, who's gonna? Besides everyone who decides to play the demo and check around, maybe thinks we're looking outside as well. Let me look inside the tree branches. I think I've looked down at the floor enough. Sorry, floor, they didn't really have anything exciting. What about the trees? That is in fact a tree. Are you guys... Yep, those are in fact trees. Nothing but a cloud in the dark sky. That's the chimney. Are you a nice chimney? Don't see anything inside those tree branches. That kind of almost looks like a turtle. That's a little bit amusing. Yeah, I don't think there's anything, at least in this back part of the woods. Anything else? There's, of course, the fallen over tree, which I am looking at promptly. That doesn't seem to lead to much of anything, actually. Where's the finger go? Just flip everyone off. Yeah! Trees! Or threes, you could say three trees. Trees in the underworld. I mean, we are in the bio. Gotta appreciate some tree life. It wouldn't be the bio if it wasn't for all the nature, I think. Maybe it's just the water and the swamp and the mud. Mud's not alive, though, so you don't have to feel bad for it. Though there are things that live in mud. 
Imagine that. You were a creature that was born with no other purpose except to wallow in mud and eat things that came towards the mud because that is your natural habitat. Your natural habitat is now mud. That is a branch. I've made it back to the swing. I'm gonna look over there. Now, where would the window be? Is that that window? I think it might be that window in the current time. Destiny awaits. Now, since I actually legitimately don't remember you being able to move back here in the original demo. Is there any particular purpose? The only purpose seems to be to push the swing from the other side. Which, you know, isn't really super important, but it's there, it's an option. I will say that this shot right here, the one that just kind of looks out in the distance, I do think that shot is actually legitimately a bit creepy. I'm just going to move the chat one second, there we go. Anyways, I don't know, maybe just distant shots in the trees are a bit creepy to me. Is it you, Nail? I can get really close to you. <laughs> Uncomfortably close, even. The thing I do find interesting about this swing, you can't move past a certain point, but based on how fast you run into it, it responds a bit differently. Like if I just walk into it, it'll barely swing at all. But if I run into it, it'll be pushed a little bit further. Don't mind me having an exciting time pushing a swing. Maybe I can make it go places. Go crazy, Swing. Live life on the edge. I don't know why I'm so invigorated by the Swing there. Alright, I'm moving out of the woods. I just like the outdoors or something. Let, let's go. No. Hey, let's go. <clears throat> no clean supplies for me. Get out of the way. Hi, Pete's butt. It's loud. <laughs> after you. I'll actually go so, after you guys. Why are we in hell this time? Do you ever prep? What's the prep? Shitty house, spooky sounds. Ooh, is it haunted? Fuck me. I was an anchor, you know? We can sub, Pete. Not anchor. What's that? Nothing. What's the story, Andre? Abandoned farmhouse, missing family, foul play suspected. There's a point where a ghost can appear here, but I think I've missed it. How long do you say this place has been abandoned? Oh, I should go. Three years. I'm already far off from doing my job. Hillbilly Joe and his family go missing. Not hillbillies, the bakers. Jack and Marguerite Baker. And they were quiet, not backward. A lot of bad rumors about their son, Lucas. Bad seat, apparently. Ah, shit. I know I should have worn my good shoes. You still can't follow Andre, of course. Oh, shit. Glad I had my shots. Although, this would make a great backdrop. Andre, what do you think? Andre? Andre? Andre! Clancy, you see where Andre went? I don't see where anything goes. Where is I already, I already saw the ghost up there before. Unbelievable. So. unbelievable! This is the last time I work with that guy. I mean, producers, they come and go, but... Uh, 
A good cameraman like you, Flancy? You stick with me. I was really hoping to see the ghost that time. Well, alas, guess not. This is still a mess. Yeah, I don't think anything else is going to change. I'll go up here, though. I'll try one dumb theory for a second. And this is literally just a dumb theory. Stand next to this. Go to the options menu. Options. Audio. Let's see if anything happens. Look at class there. Surprise, I just don't hear anything. <laughs> it is what it is what it is, I suppose. Yeah, I should probably turn the volume back on. <laughs> I do like music. Wait, what? Hmm. I hear wind. At least we can get the different layers, whatever is supposed to be here, so. Including wind sounds. Let's see. Of course, blame me. Just do 6666 across the board, obviously. Now, let's see. Whisper me voices. You can actually hear him breathing. We have voices on only. Listen to that breathing. I feel like you're playing a space sim game or something. Real breathing experience. Oh, that was new. That was a little gross, but interesting. The little, do you see the little web, gross cobweb things that came with it? I don't recall seeing that before. Lockpick? Yeah, we already got the lockpick. But we can get it. Wait, why can we get the lockpick again? Didn't we already use it? Is this locked again? I guess it is. I'll keep the lockpick, though. What happens if you examine it? It looks like a lockpick. Big surprise. That breathing experience. That was there, the gross stuff. I definitely don't recall it. I recall something falling out in the daytime version, but being someone who messed around a lot with it there, it's a nice little thing, though. Still, regardless of nice touch, let me pat, let me look. They have also upread some of the textures in this version, so still, though, use the lockpick to escape, obviously. Everywhere. But obviously not, also. The breathing experience. Hmm. If I go up here...
what if I stick the lockpick in the socket? I feel that'll do something. It won't. Oh, if you try, you can get electrocuted. But, you know, whatever floats our boat. Let's go on out, you breathing son of a bitch. What if I put the lockpick here? Would it appear in the future? No. Okay. The deep breathing Resident Evil 7 experience. Nothing there. Nothing there. Gonna check. Hi. What the fuck was that? What? Did you hear that? Why can you talk? All right, boys. <laughs> well, to be fair, I didn't hear it actually, but Andre? that's. Andre. Where the fuck is he? Lock pick the door. Very excited to find your bud. Can I get it to you before you? I know where it is. What if I never let you buy what Pete? Pete, Pete, no, she's not this close. Oh, Jesus, Pete. You gotta be fucking kidding me. All right, new deal. We, we find Andre and we go. I mean, fuck this show. <sighs> No ghost for me. That voice. <clears throat> Hi, Pete. Want to talk some more? You first. Need a nice hero shot of me coming down the ladder. So, uh, you first. You sure with that? What if I pushed you? Stab him in the back when he's not looking. This lockpick could do it. Just a shove and a nice pick in the back of the neck, and there you go! He'd be done with. And then Andre and Pete can be together forever. No, we'll give it a second. Give it a, give it a solid moment of conjecture. Not me first. You come behind me. No, Espanol, Espanol. Go capitalism. Let's see. I'm gonna turn the audio back on. I'm not saying this breathing experience hasn't been very invigorating, but. Give me the full audio experience, pal. Hmm. There we go. What do you mean there's nothing there? What are you, what are you talking about? Everything is everywhere. Never know what sort of crevices whatever we'll be hiding in. Gotta look in the dark corners of whatever. Oh boy. <clears throat> Why, dear sirs, I do expect that I may have to climb down that ladder. Why? What? what? Like, like, legitimately, why is there, like, a thing in the carpet? Oh, whatever. I'm looking in corners. It's called grasping for straws. Andre will still be dead whether I go narrowly. Was that picture there? Yeah, that picture must be there in the modern age. Just some old forgot about it. 
What a lovely still family. Maybe it's because of the videotape era, but they look a lot creepier to me. Like, are their eyes black? It looks like their eyes are blacked down in this version, almost. But that might just be the imagination playing tricks with the camera work. Anyways. Time to have the natural thing which happens to me happen. He's been standing staring down here for a long time. You sure you're okay, buddy? That was weird. It just happened naturally. I guess it does. Enjoy our descent down this ladder. Make sure there's not anything there every step down the way. Briefs up a gusto. Moving down mucho. What is it? I can come back up and tell you. But probably not. I'm here. Sure is invigorating. These bags of garbage, they could literally be anything. Oh boy. Wait, there's actually one thing which I want to look for when I'm on the ladder. Which just came to my mind. What time is it on my clock? I don't know, it's hard to tell. Well, let's do the thing which likes to be done where we go over here and have a good time with Andre. Andre Capacio! What if I stop the videotape right here? Tempted. Stop playing the video. If you play the video, it'll start from the beginning. I'll let go. Ah, uh, you can't stop when you get there. Maybe if you stop in the TV stack. Cause what's the, I don't even remember that being that much TV stack there last time. Right, I got the axe. Looks different to see it once you've been looking at it for so long. Oh, they kept all my axe marks on the girl. What a good engine. <laughs> What if I leave the loadable area and then come back? Will my axe mark still be there? What a good engine. <laughs> so I'm going to do what any sensible person would do. Try it this with an axe. As I said, sensible. You're the lowest hanging fruit right through you. Then comes the shadow on the walls if you wear tactic. But now what I'm going to try and do is just the simplest thing. This will let me go and I'll go check with the medias and see what people are talking about. Talk, tick, talk, clock. Indeed. So what I'm going to do is ignore this nicely stacked pack of cans. I'm going to open up the back door, but I'm not going to go out the back door and then go upstairs and use the phone and get one of the probably previous phone messages. Everybody knows your name. But I'm going to open it, but I'm not going to open it. If that makes any sort of sense. Basement key. No, oh, okay. Not going there though. That'd be a stupid move. Run like the wind upstairs. Am I pushing something here? I'm 
totally pushing a chair. Let's go upstairs anyways. Yes, phone, I know you're excited. Give me a little bit, okay? Let's... Does the phone just, like, go off when I go downstairs? Let's not bug the phone for a second. I'm actually going to check out over here. That's fine. Are you fine over here? I'll answer you in a moment, then get family manned. Is that what you want, game? I mean, obviously, this isn't the basement key, whatever, so... I mean, why would this even be the basement key, whatever? I wish they could pull your inventory when you're up here, but they don't let you. Now I want to. Okay, so we're about to get family manned. We'll let nature take its course. And we'll see if anyone has made any progress during the last hour we've been playing this. Let's sneak right into it. Phone, give me a moment. I know you want to tell me that something or another. I wonder if it's going to be an old phone message for me because I've been messing around so much if it's going to be the new one. Let's find out. No phone, don't. Don't let me. Oh, yeah, you can put the axe through there. Okay. Who's this? And what the fuck is going on? <laughs> what do you mean? Everything seems fine to me. Just remember, all doors can be opened. If they couldn't, they wouldn't be doors. What? But some doors must remain closed. For now. Then, welcome to that family, whatever. Family yeah, everyone saw it coming. <clears throat> still. There's a new combo fund. It's still there. We gotta get the hell out of here. <clears throat> Uh, they don't have the full kitchen cut still. Oh well. The irony is it's a videotape. Then the end of the path is near. Join the ambassadors program, Resident Evil 7. But... Is there more? Is that all they leave it to? That is the question. Did they decide another... The thing is, if there was another secret, I don't expect it to be like another ending. It probably would be like some item or another. Now, as we sit on the screen for a second, I'm going to wiggle out these fingers and now let's see what the social places that do demo research have to say. I had to decide not to look at them until after we were done with that run. So that's pretty much the dead end I think everybody was at. Because I was hearing people talking about something about five graves, and that's that thing which they say. Is there nothing more? Quite probably. Is there something more? Maybe. Let's see what the internet has to say about that. I had this over to the side, so we're going to scroll this over on the hitbox side. If you're, for some reason, watching the Twitch side, you should go to the hitbox side, by the way. Um, here is an internet window with Red and NeoGAF pulled up. Let, let's see what we got to talk about. I haven't read these, really, so this is going to be the time to find out. I haven't been able to find a clear answer to this. PlayStation Plus, the demo stuff. Okay, let's see. Update is down in the U.S. No, has anybody found a ghost sign since the update? I've gone through the tape four times and not seen her once. I've seen her once. Yeah, I looked at all the usual places and didn't see her. It doesn't matter. Who knows how long the end of the demo. I can respond to this because I saw a ghost sighting. I saw in the room with the hanging dolls. Uh, let's see. The demo is doing away with to accomplish. Generate discussion. Raise pre-orders. Newsletter sign-ups. There was never a ghost sign there before. There was. Streaming on YouTube, da, da 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 Oh my, here we go again. 
Five gigabytes for a new room and a hand and some bullets, but no gun is kind of insulting. The new trailer is indeed awesome, but I could have done without this praise for a time unlock feature in 17 hours. Pretty sure she was always there. Now, more importantly, the woman on the phone is totally Ada, right? Um, I can confirm the ghost sighting in the kitchen. Uh, hanging hair hanging from the ceiling is in the demo. Because I saw it. I even caught it on video. But that's okay. Let's see if people are saying anything. Of course, there's the edit to make it look like a middle finger. Everyone can expect that. Not falling for this shit again, Capcom. I played through the minuscule amount of new stuff and will wait for the second update. I watched the demo several times when it came out, joined a bunch of streams, figure out what's going on. I still shot my pants during the first Welcome to the Family, son. I downloaded and didn't play the demo. Do I need to update? Where's the person that went around hitting every single object and involved with an axe? Time to do it all over. <laughs> the hand is taking the shape of a lost pistol. Yep, I know it's supposed to be like a handgun. So, it looks like Ryan might be discussing this a little bit more in depth. Maybe the game is our depth. Chairs on Beam's new bedroom. Yep, I noticed the chairs too. Do they have any particular purpose or are they just there for decoration? If you sit on them on the right order, you got a free copy of it. <laughs> okay, that made me giggle a little bit. Very random observation, no need to judge. But do you think the three chairs on the beams of the ceiling of the new room have any or have any purpose? I know that could just be atmospheric textual, but I just find them so out of place. Then again, I do not think three chairs would provide any specific purpose. Ba 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 ba. High resolution improved brightness recording age remake. We need to find the five gravestones. Uh -huh. If anything, if there was gravestones, you think it'd be related to the ghost sightings, because those are, you know, ghost uh, surprise. Uh, has anyone found the handgun? Nope, no one has. When I pointed the dummy hand at the locked door in the new room, I think it moved to point in a new direction. I'll look, sure, even though I don't think it's going to lead to anything. Resident Evil 7 whispers. Vendetta, trailer description, let's see, digital deluxe, blah, 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 blah. Let's look at the things we've opened. We need to use the five gravestones. I don't think we need to be pointing at one thing in particular. I think we need to go point at all the gravestones like right on the wall says nothing to point into their final gravestones. We will after the update. What update? Apparently we've already moved on to a belief that there is nothing now and there will be a part three with part two being pointless. Capcom said this in the last update for the demo. They did not say that, actually. Where did they say that? They said there would be another update. The phone call proves that. There's, only, there's likely no gravestones. The message on the walls most likely were reference to the people of the Bakers murdered, the cop, the three television member staffs, and the demo protagonist. And the number of fingers in the mannequin's hand are an allusion to the demo protagonist being the last finger again, killed by the father's son after. When I point the dummy hand at the locked door in the new room, I think it moved to point in a new direction. It always defaults to pointing northeast. Really? I didn't know that. I would like to say that I am not submitting this to troll or anything like that. When I was playing, I got bored and I was just pointing the hand and stuff, and I swear that I moved on its own when I was pointing at the door. I said nothing happened when examining the hand sometimes. Was the same whisper. So, a friend and I were playing the update after we combined the finger, but we got every item including all the bullets. We decided to finish the tape when we went to the kitchen and stood next to the island, right. When you hear the guy whispering, I wouldn't make it out what he says. Maybe you guys can recreate it. There are whispers that say weird things in the demo. They did that in the original too, though. If there's any new demo whatevers, that's for debate. So, let me ask you guys. Should we try to do more demo hunting? Or do you think that we should just hold on to our horses? Should we do something else? As I said, I'm, I'm a little tired, but I'm not sleepy tired. So, whatever we do is probably going to be more casual today. Do we hunt? The belief right now is that there's nothing. Now, if there is or isn't nothing, is debatable. Is that it? Possibly. Definitely possibly. Is there more? Maybe. Maybe not. Is it all a troll? Maybe. Could definitely be. Ah. Do we work ourselves up and go crazy trying to find everything? Uh, I do like the new room, if that means anything. There's probably another demo coming. Like, that's next to confirmed at this point, so... It doesn't seem like there isn't anything. 
But you go to the, through the back door. I did not go through the back door. But when you go through the back door, you're always going to get family, son. Good old welcome to the family guy is going to come and give you a good old sucker punch because that's what he does. He loves sucker punching people. The Moss Door. Mopac. Would we open that with the key? The basement key. I think, okay, so here is my personal opinion. So let's talk about all the pieces which don't actually add up to anything right now for a second. So there, there is like, I guess, can you even trigger the old phone messages anymore? I'm legitimately curious because it doesn't really seem like there's a way to trigger them. Originally in the game, the uh, triggers would be when you went upstairs, and there's three different phone messages that could appear. That I don't think anyone really figured out what triggered all three. But now the phone doesn't ring when you go upstairs, so does the phone have different triggers? I don't know, actually. On one hand, it seems like it'd be kind of likely, but maybe the new message is the only new message. In fact, maybe I should ask people about that. Is there any way to trigger the old phone messages, or is it just the new one that's replaced them all, saying things to come, doors to be opened? You think you would book it to one the open the back door? Maybe so, maybe so. Uh, but I was going to say, the new items, let's talk about that. I got a little bit distracted by thinking about the phone. So... There is a new picture of Jack and his family above the frame. I don't think that's related to the puzzle. I think it's supposed to be a clue to Resident Evil 7 itself. Because you got Jack and Margaret Baker. You've got their son, who is obviously Lucas. But notably, they also have a daughter. And the daughter hasn't been... Well, I, here's the thing. It's obvious. This is just my opinion. And this could be completely off. But to me, it seems obvious that the daughter is obviously Ghost Girl. Or maybe not even Ghost Girl, the girl that's shadowy in all the promotional pictures of Resident Evil 7, who also appeared at the very end of the new trailer. Now, why is she a ghost girl? What's going on with her? I, I don't fully know. Though, actually, you know what? I'm starting to put it together in my head now that I'm thinking about it. You know, I think I just put some stuff together, which I'll save for another time. I'm not going to talk about potential Resident Evil 7 spoilers. I just put... Uh, I had one of those aha moments of putting different connections together, which makes a little bit too much sense. Anyways, obviously their daughter, Ghost Girl, whatever, black Japanese-style horror Ghost Girl. But anyways, from that, the picture probably doesn't actually lead to anything. I think it's just supposed to be a clue to say, hey, look, they had a daughter as well as a son. What a surprise. Um... Outside of that, obviously you can combine the dummy finger with the hand, and amusingly enough, it makes a handgun. <laughs> but you can't fire it for whatever purpose. I don't actually think that there's a gun in this demo. I think the handgun bullets are basically just an illusion to say, hey, look, there's handgun ammo. Look at that ammo. Look, there could be a gun. But I don't think there is a gun right now. And the part of the reason why I don't think there's a gun is because in the options in the game, all the gun settings are disabled. They maybe the gun settings would be enabled if you picked up the gun, but that seems unlikely to me. I think the gun settings are just disabled because there is in fact no gun, which makes enough sense to me. Gun doesn't have enough things going on to be an active participant. They had one new room, and most of the new stuff is in the new room, obviously. You have the basement key. Now, the thing is, I don't think the basement key is supposed to lead to anything yet. Um, personal thought is that the basement key is probably for the next demo, where you can actually go to the basement. That is my estimation. In fact, to be completely honest, a lot of the stuff which is listed here could be for the next update, which I guess will probably be the final update. It will probably happen in December, I'd imagine, because that's when PlayStation does their expo, the PlayStation Expo. And since they've been releasing these demos with big conferences, and that conference is the last possible big conference that would be before Resident Evil 7 releases in January. So if they wanted to release the last demo and do this whole conference thing they've been doing, not to mention it's coincidentally three months apart from each other, then they would probably be aiming for the PlayStation Expo. That'd be my guess. And there might be like a big old update. Maybe they'll do the... Maybe this update's like a small update just to prepare for some bigger update because that it does say the pen of the path is near. That's definitely possible. There also could be some hidden thing which doesn't actually lead to an ending, though. Like The thing is, in the original demo, there were two secrets, really. Most people who play the demo for the first time are going to go in, out the front door and get Family Man. That's fine. That's good. That's dandy. 
but there were two further secrets that people couldn't cover. The more obvious one is once you knew how to do the iron thing, when you knew that you could use the um, fireplace, you could immediately do the fireplace, you get a fuse. For some reason, the fuse is timed exclusive. The fuse will disappear after you watch the videotape. If you watch the videotape, the fuse disappears. It only appears if you know if you go inside the fireplace before you watch the videotape, which you can only really do after your first run, unless of course you watch someone else play or if you somehow magically guessed it. Um, however, though, with that in mind, the fuse disappears. That's a time limited item, which might hint there are time limited items somewhere in this. And then if you do the fuse thing, you go upstairs and you get the phone, and you get the ending where you get Family Man inside the house after you get a phone message. And in the original demo, there was three phone messages. Now there might only be one. I, I don't know. However, though, working off from that, the second secret wasn't really related to anything. It was just kind of a secret. Basically, if you go inside the videotape, there's a hidden lock, or lock pick behind the microwave. You can use it to unlock the drawer inside the kitchen, and then when you go back to the modern age, the drawer is unlocked, and you get the axe. The axe doesn't actually lead to anything in the original demo, but, I mean, you can break crates with it, but there's no reason to. That's that. Now in this demo, I guess the axe did have a bit of a purpose. If you didn't have the fire axe, then you couldn't really, you know, break that one crate which had ammo in it open, which I guess would be the purpose behind that. But then comes the question, I don't think that there's another like big ending secret like, oh look, here's a secret that's going to unlock this brand new room or something. However, though, I am a bit suspicious of the fact that maybe there's like some secret a la in the form of the fire axe in the demo, but because people figured out the fire axe thing so quickly, they put some super cryptic way to find it. If anything, that's kind of what I suspect might be hidden in this demo. I don't think it's like, oh, I, in fact, to be honest, I think that there is a blockade and you can't continue certain things. I think that there will be a third demo update. That will be the final demo update. That will put an actual conclusion to the demo. That's what I think will happen. But I also think that the demo reeks that there might be one hidden thing in it that no one's discovered yet, that they might have made a lot more cryptic because people figured out the last cryptic thing so quickly. So those are some thoughts there. Now one second, I'm going to just glance over this for a moment while I debate if we should go through one more time or not. I think according to the lore there were 13 kids, we know two are dead for sure, so it's like 11 more. I don't think there's 13 kids, at least that, where did that number even come from? I mean they could have more kids, but I'm not, I don't, I've been following Resident Evil 7 very closely on Mr. Database Knowledge Base Fun. And I don't think there's been any mention of any specific number of kids they have given that Margaret does say inside the Lantern demo that she needs to feed her children. But yeah, yeah. Let's check. Ah, so there is something which people are talking about. So apparently there's one thing which people are discussing. Let's, let's take a look at this. Streamer finds upstairs locked door to be missing, reveals what's inside. Start at 143 for the door. Alright, I'll take a look. Because I'll take a gander. Oh, I had some there, was time no local there was no local Best Buy within uh, the vicinity to recycle them. Let's, let's give it a shot. But at, at least so I have upstairs. to say about them. They're very environmentally what did you friendly. Get from the CRTV? Oh, I didn't oh, get anything. Oh, the door upstairs is there's in there. There's the other portion of the hand down here. Inside the room. CRTVs are the new door stop. <laughs> hmm. Actually, uh, maybe maybe in the basement you find a Tupperware box of NES games. But they don't have the fire axe. And you play Mega Man. The crates. And you you challenge Family Guy. You, you challenge Family Man to a score attack. An original Mega Man. Now, well, first of all, even if that's a glitch, there is definitely a full room in there, and there is stuff in the room, so that's a little bit interesting. All right, so let's see what people have to say. When you first enter the room, there are three mannequins facing the bed. When the door is open, there's only one mannequin left, and it's facing the open door. I don't understand why, but the mannequins show you the way. 
Dude, the room upstairs, the door is not open for me. What did you do and why the hell did you not look about? How to download the demo? It's different, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So let's see what people have to say about this. Lobby well, didn't even notice? Well, no. That room could have had all the answers to all of our questions and he just walks out <laughs> laughing. It might have been his first time playing. I thought I would have known something was up. I read the comments on this stream and someone made an excellent observation. When you en first enter the room, there are three mannequins. Wait. Oh. Right, so. When you first enter the room. Alright, because there's three mannequins inside the room when you enter. When you first enter the room, there are three mannequins facing the bed. When the door is open, there's only one mannequin left and it's facing the open door. Why do the mannequins even move in the first place? Is it magnetism or ghost girl? Okay. That is actually a very good observation. In fact, let me look here for a second. Because if the mannequins move to look at you if you go inside the door, that's mighty suspicious. Like, okay, so he goes upstairs, and I know he's talking about the three mannequins up here. Oh, I didn't get anything. But when you enter, they're all looking at the bed. down here. So that might be notable. In the store. Make sure to give Robo voice. So anyways, though, so the mannequins, there's three mannequins in this room, and I already kind of knew that. Get on the and they and get this man the bed more watchers. But when he goes over here and accidentally well, wait, goes inside this the room, but yet, doesn't really so I don't know what he's doing. I imagine probably nothing. Don't play here. And then there's another empty table. I think it's that 143.15. I think this is what new for this updated demo. Let's see, so he goes in, doesn't really see anything that's up. There are, in fact, destructible boxes in there, but he doesn't have the axe and can't destroy bandit. them. Uh, da, 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 da. And then when he leaves, there is only one mannequin that's still upright, and it's pointed towards the door instead of being pointed towards the bedroom. That is suspicious, because they would obviously have to program for the mannequins to be turned towards you to look at them. I'm sorry, I wonder if our character we play as has been infected with whatever mutation the Baker's have and is just suffering the side effects. Lots of time, you turn around and look at something for five seconds, then turn away for only two, turn back and know it's changed. Whatever his perception of hallucinations. But that makes sense because you have to be infected as well because to see the ghost girl with them. I'm guessing the character has the ability to turn invisible camo. Da -da 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 -da. Lol, no, he noticed that earlier in the video, I believe, but I was too lazy to find the time. Well, why didn't he break the boxes? He didn't have the axe at the time. He tried to get the axe for a the glitch, but he was unsuccessful. The thing is, we don't really know if it's a glitch. It's just the door wasn't there, so I guess people assume it's a glitch. Is this new, new demo I'm unaware of? Is there really four hours worth of gameplay in a demo? New the game updates out, and no, people just look around a lot. And then people trying to replicate this. I've been playing for the past couple of hours, trying to get it to happen, but no luck. I've been triggering the Ghost Girl surprising regularity, though. Literally one after the other. Use the Japanese version, too, in case it's only a glitch in that version. We don't even know if it's a glitch or not, but yes, I agree. There must be a way to do it again. All right there, Coog. Have a good time out there. So it seems like people are trying to figure out how they make the door disappear. Why is there a chair? So that's what people are all suspicious of. Okay. There could actually be something there. Anything on the gaff side of people trying to figure out the demo stuff. Not falling for this shit again. I noticed you can discard the ammo. Has anyone experimented with this? Oh, I actually did not notice you could discard the ammo. Y'all got any of them Resident Evil 7 demo rabbit hole streams? After glitching the attic door open last night on stream, then spending five hours trying to replicate it, and another three hours, I am so fucking done. It would have been oh, he was the person that actually triggered it. It would have been nice to have the axe in hand to smash open those crates just to see if there was anything inside. But screw it, I need an alcoholic beverage. I lied. I'll probably try again tonight. The suspense of not knowing what's in those crates is killing me. I need intervention, please. <laughs> they ever mentioned the family having a daughter? daughter? In the tape, there's only da, 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 they haven't flat out said Dar, but there's been a lot of hinting. We have the song lyrics, and most recently, she made that for you. Didn't seem like it was referring to Ellen Baker. I feel this was supposed to be a daughter. Wait, they updated the demo, or is it a completely new one? Updated with anything? Not much really added. Yeah, yeah. 
to roll as we go, as we go. Well, that's that. Fuck life. I'll do one thing quickly. Just to... I, it's not going to trigger. A lot of people have been trying to make this work out for a long period of time. Meet the Bakers on January 24th. <laughs> If everyone's been trying to trigger this glitch, which is the only lead anybody has, then I don't think it's going to be me that will solve it. But you know what? I will goddamn be an idiot and try. I'll try once. I'm not going to try over and over again. It doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. Baba B, Baba Boom, going upstairs for me and you. If only it wasn't such a tedium to get the axe over and over again. Yep, mannequin staring at the bed, doors there. I can even pick up anything. Say fuck you, and I'm gonna go into the VHS world and see if I can get a tape. Nice painting. Anyways, I even trigger those mannequins to look backwards this time. That's a little surprising, honestly. Don't bug anything. Don't even knock over cans. I'm just doing my job. Go in, touch pliers, baby doll's a fun time because that's what baby doll likes. Cut the pliers. Cut them all open. Move such places. Oh, I didn't get the videotape. Silly old bear. Did not mean to knock over cans. I ruined my run! Nah, probably not, though. Put that videotape in. Look at these houses. Has anyone tried going down where they're, Taylor? Find this guy? Give me a break, Pete. Hey, I only work with professionals. Speaking of which, make sure the sound is right this time. I don't want a repeat of Amarillo. That was two fucking years ago. I don't do ADR. This new guy? I'm not feeling it. Again? Just don't be surprised if we have to make a change. New plan. We do a walkthrough of the inside first, then we shoot the intro. Just like we always do. Just try to say the show's name this time, okay? No problem. Tonight on Sewer Gators, another worthless fucking shithole. Happy? Ecstatic. Are we rolling? All right, let's go. <clears throat> no ghost trigger there for me. Jedi. Silly Ryan, death is for kids. Into the room where the video ends. Um, I don't think so actually, but still so though. So, why are we in hell this time? Do you ever prep? What's the prep? Shitty house, spooky sounds. Ooh, is it haunted? Fuck me. I was an anchor, you know? Weekend sub, Pete. Not anchor. What's that? Nothing. 
Go outside before the door closes. The other side. Actually, can I go between the beams? No. No. Okay. That's a shame. Good thing they waited for me, though, huh? Tch. I'm just looking at things silly. Hi, moths, in my vision. Oh, those are shadows of moths. These are the actual moths. Look at these moths go right all up in your viewpoint. I'm going to go inside now. Watch the door close behind me. Watch the door close behind me. How long do you say this place has been abandoned? Three years. <laughs> a great cutaway. So, uh, Hillbilly Joe and his family go missing. Not Hillbillies, the Bakers. Jack and Marguerite Baker. And they were quiet, not backward. A lot of bad rumors about their son, Lucas. Bad seat, apparently. Ah, shit! Oh, I should have worn my good shoes. Oh, shit. Glad I had my shots. Andre disappears Although, so fucking quickly. This make a great backdrop. Andre, what do you think? Andre? Hmm. Andre! Andre! Clancy, you see where Andre went? Where is he? Unfucking believable! Didn't trigger this ghost this time. This is the last time I worked with that guy. I mean, producers, they come and go, but. Uh, a good cameraman like you, Clancy? You stick with me. Changes his tone when he needs me. Fortunately, the basement door, which I assume is what this is, is still locked in. There's another door over here, but it doesn't get unlocked by what you do either. Though there is something new on the door, and I've been noticing that. Maybe I can see it better here now that the door's not slamming. What the fuck was that? Did you hear that? Oh, jeez. Andre! <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is he? It's wherever you want him to be, really. Look at my shadow. Andre, where are you, man? Look at my shadow. Who even am I? What type of hair do I have? Look at look at the hair on my shadow. Did did you see that? I think I have a mullet, which is kind of weird. Time to end up dead. Oh, I'm an idiot. I didn't even do the fire axe thing. The whole reason I did this. Thankfully, you can go backwards to do it right now. What a world. What a world. Give me that fire axe stat. I wonder if that'll play any sort of importance in the future. Let's see if we get back and just run on downstairs. It's a mystery. Up, down, going down. You first. Thank you for the. Let's turn it about. Run back towards him. Ah! 
lovely person. And thus, the family man stuff happens. Okay. So, now we got the axe and we go upstairs to the new area. If one must move about. The axe, that's great. Now upstairs we go. Mannequin still haven't turned. Hopefully that's important. Now let's go over here. And Jai. Now I don't want to destroy that and get the handgun ammo. So let's see. That door unfortunately has been opened. I'm not gonna try and break anything at the moment. I could pick up the celluloid object over there, but I wanna wait. Obviously up here. That's locked. Yep, it's locked. It seems to lead outside. You don't say so. <clears throat> if one must continue... I know you mannequins can turn around if that door is opened, but the door is not open. Maybe I could just leave and re-enter... <sighs> Theory time. First of all, if I mess with the phone, does that even happen? Start ringing after I pick it up. I'm going to try VHS demo silly stuff to see if I can make this work. Because you can actually just enter and re-exit outside the VHS tape at any point that you want to. So, surprisingly, those dummies still haven't turned around. I say dummies with their mannequins. We also have the new slime door, which has a good old time. The fun noises coming out from the slime door. Yep. Now we enter inside VHS world. And I'm going to exit VHS world as soon as I enter. Because I don't want to be in VHS world in actuality. I'm just doing this to get this all set up. Stop video immediately. There's a strange fog thing almost immediately when I got through there. Because I think that that loads and deloads the area, so if it is a glitch, then yeah. I... Do you hear a door slam shut when you get up there? I, at least I heard something. Okay. Not that. Let's try, try again. I'm still surprised that these mannequins haven't turned around yet. You still haven't turned around yet, you mannequins? That's mighty surprising. If you try once, you can try, try again. Pick it up 51 times. That would be if we were doing the Rebecca's secret picture in Resident Evil 2 Wesker garbage can weird Easter egg secret. But still, though. Since I'm pretty sure this videotape startup is just demo stuff. Start video. Stop video. Yep. I have learned nothing. Run around corners. See if the door will disappear. Watch my character run with an axe like a crazy axe murderer. See, why does it play a door closing sound every time I go upstairs? Every time I love the area. Hmm. 
Hmm. Maybe there's something I can do to make the door not close. Still surprised these mannequins haven't turned around. Because you hear that every single time I go upstairs, there's a door closing sound. Is it this door? It's actually probably the door behind me. Probably overthinking it, actually. Give it a second. We can see. Move that about. Of course. Oh boy. All the loadable areas. Yeah, it's the door where I came from closing. Ba ba ba. Be ba ba bye. But yeah, I don't even think any of the old phone messages are in anymore. Well, Time to do what I used to do when we had a door glitch our way through. These boxes have funky physics. If we really try, we can maybe get it to work. You come too, mannequins. It's really a party for everyone. I'm, I decline no compadres. Got everything over here. It's time to start off the giant pile of shit, which I'm going to use to try and break something in there. <laughs> this isn't all we have, though. We also have you guys. Get this pile on started. Everybody roll into place. Also, this is the inside locked door, which is good to know. I'm not going to break that for ammo, though I might pile it on in a second. Okay. Do not pick up those keys. They are a trap. Yeah, big old pile of just everything here. In a oh, Jesus. I move this. Notably, that's not a movable block like all the others. It's because it's holding ammo. It's a wooden crate. It's not a box. And these are wooden crates too, but not the same type of wooden crates. They aren't just an eruption of boxes waiting to happen. All right. One more box to join the fray. Actually, no, there's one more than one box. Okay, well, a few more boxes to join the fray. Get this pile on started. Yes! Okay, you're another box. Don't want you to get inside the corner, so... How will we handle you? There we go, I got you away from there. Move you towards the pile. We always could use more pilings. Got it! This will be perfect. <laughs> The boxes can be broken. Yes, they can, but I'm not going to break them. Oh, no. I'm creating a pile. We're going <laughs> to totally. This is more boxes than I could handle. Surprised to can run 60 frames per second with all these physics objects. We're going to glitch shit in, son. We're going to get this box open. By box, I mean door. It could be a box. Let's go, everybody! Push, you're, you're next. Get in there, mannequin! That's kind of creepy. I'd love to have a gift with just this. You know, I'm going to take a gif of this. It has to happen. I apologize for this, but a gif must happen.
Perfect! Okay. We got all these other boxes in the way. Pile on! It's also just kind of fun moving through a big old pile of boxes, I'm not gonna lie. Wait, no, no, I don't want to move you guys back in the corners where I can't access you. That'd just be annoying. Excuse me, wah, boxes. Oh, there we go. The gift finally loaded. I want to see what that looks like in a sec. It's going to be choppy because I use Gazzo GIF and they got kind of choppy GIFs, but, you know, whatever. It is what it is. If I wanted a high-quality GIF, I'd have to make a video and then play with the video. No, you got no, 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 not there. Oh, jeez, get out of the corners, mannequins. No, I need you. There you go, I got you. Oh, 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 get back down. Gonna ram the mannequins into it. Try your best, box. Fun physics reactions these things. So let's see what this gift looks like. <laughs> Gonna totally have to share that. <clears throat> but anyways. Doing very professional business stuff right now. Need to focus on trying to push these boxes and such through that door. Very important. Very, very important. Let's try. Yeah, there we go. Just gotta push it at such the right angle. Because this is obviously what the solution would be, and not just saying silly, I'm trying what you're talking about. So I'll run through a giant pile of boxes. Is that so wrong? Let's see. Hmm. Fortunately, I know everything's just going to explode again. Because that's how it works. But you know. At least it'll be amusingly exploded. I need to try to get this one mannequin back. Oh, I almost had to. I don't know where it went. Ah, oh, there you are. Just giant box party! That lost my focus. What do you mean making a giant box party wasn't my intent all along? I thought I was. Probably looking through boxes what dreams are made of, obviously. <sighs> I was hoping I could push this mannequin up to the window. Maybe if I do put the boxes around this here, let me let me even try that because I'm silly and this is obviously worth my time and effort. Dead. All right, I'll try one more time to despawn. Whatever. It's 
surprised those men can sell and turn around. Maybe I should just make them turn around. Maybe that's important. Turn around. Why won't you turn around? You turn around so easily. Look at me. I got my back turned. Look what I'm doing. Uh, they will not turn around. Turn around. Like, they literally will turn around so often as other times. Right now, they're like, nope. Back to you. Let's see. Put that videotape in. It's just new mixtape fun. Wait for that. Then I press the pause button like an idiot. Until we get to the next screen. Didn't say the magic word, bitch, please. Oh, that's... Moving on from that one. If we turn around and go upstairs... Oh, okay, because so everything goes back, obviously. I should have figured that. Actually, when did things spawn and despawn in this area? Let me move these boxes. They'll be my sign. They're gonna clip through the stairs, because they always do. Oh, hey! They actually fixed this. In the original game, things are just clipped through the stairs. Now you can actually push them up and down the stairs. It means you can get more mannequins and boxes up there if you really tried. Because originally everything would just clip right through the stairs. Now the stairs have been given physics objects. Ah, uh, ah! Uh, it's gonna be a tough challenge to get a box up these stairs, though. But now I know it's not impossible. Let's see. <clears throat> I'll wait for the door to close and I'll run back. Maybe I'll close if I go over here. Close door, close. Could pick up the back door key, but why would I want to do that? The back door key is in any of my beeswax. Now everything is placed back in the perfect order, which means the game reloads the attic. Which, if this is a glitch and not something you trigger by some deliberate series of events, would mean that the door gets respawned. So you know what? I'm going to just try this for a second. See if I'm ever so lucky and for some reason a door that's supposed to spawn doesn't spawn, which was maybe, if, if it was a glitch, then it was a glitch. But then we can at least affirm there's nothing in there. But if it's not, then it's not. I need to look at my shadow next time I go by here. I'll move this stuff just to affirm if there's anything, if it resets itself or not. There you go. Broken enough for me. Let's see. That is a good question. Let's see. Love and excesses for all you're welcome to the family, son. Oh my. So, 
just fuck around with boxes to see when they despawn, because that also be when the door resets, because everything else up here resets. I have the boxes messed up right now. But if I go downstairs, and I go over here to open up this door, it should load the other load point. Now if I run backwards, the boxes and everything will be in perfect tip-top shape. I forgot to look at my shadow again this time. Nope. So it takes a little bit longer for the boxes to be reset. I'll keep that in mind. Maybe just when you enter in here. I'll look at my shadow this time. I have that weird hair. It's hard to tell because my flashlight gets in the way and I don't know a way to turn it off. Time to shadow everything. Does the shadow reveal hidden clues? Even I don't know. And now the boxes will be... No, really? I tried hard for that. I did try. Oh well. Time to get familyed, son. I just want to see the family man attack me with through boxes. I can see my feet. Just remember, I didn't notice that. Be opened. If they couldn't, they wouldn't be doors. What? But some doors must remain closed. For now. Welcome to the family, son. <laughs> Well, it is what it is what it is. I tried. Ah. Now let's see what's going on with the internet side of things. Hmm. Anyone else discover nothing? Surprised there isn't more to it given the size of the update. Oh well, the assets are probably there, but the piece isn't in the yet. So, the next update hits, there'll be a small for PS only, is my guess. My streaming the demo now, if anyone wants to me. Gotta find the secrets. So, I'm a little data mine this. I was expecting to see something new here when I woke up. Why do you do this, Capcom? Why? Let's see. So, what exactly is happening? Still unable to download the demo. Chairs on beams, a new room. Higher resolution and brightness. Update demo. Uh, we need to find the five gravestones. Hit a point on the door. Mold, Bane, handgun. Has anyone found the handgun? Doesn't exist, but I'm going to look anyway. When I point at the, the, the dots, it's going to look at everything. Everything upstairs resets once you leave this new. It's not new, actually. This is the new room, is where Jack stops the player. Mind blown, I got something to trigger. Resident 7 now, if he has someone trying to replicate the room glitch. So apparently there are going to be two versions. That's for Japan only, and other territories that allow there to be both. Streamer finds something. Phantom hand appears, just a hand glitch, I'm pretty sure. All right, Capcom, where are they? So you just got a Twilight demo yet. Rest of the streamer, how do we get the demo? Demo regarding trying to get serious. Uh, let's see. Da -da 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 So what exactly is happening? We're following the news, but currently PS4 less ATM. Is the Twilight demo an entirely new demo? Blah, 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 blah. No, it's the... Uh, seems to be the original demo, but updated with a new room and a few new items. Some better lighting texture work. And other small changes. Nothing major, nothing major right now. Might be for a bigger update coming. Alright. 
Chairs on beams in your room. If you sit on them, I was wondering why there was a chair above Jack when you stopped any of that trailer. Sorry for the horrible quality picture. Higher resolution room brightness. If the textures have gotten upgraded, that would explain why the patch was so big for such an addition for the demo. Now then. I don't think we need to be pointing the one thing in particular. I think it just needs to go. We will have to the update. We'll update. Apparently there's already a belief. Yeah, yeah. There's likely no gravestone. So that's just well, sometimes if you leave the finger alone, it'll just move. Got it. Pointing on the door covered in mold causes something to bane on it. Let's go in the comments. It seems like time is just extremely consistently every time. It can happen by looking at the door. I worth noting it still triggers an examining the item, I guess. You can do it with any items. It just happens when you look at the door long enough. Happens when I look at the door. So <clears throat> I'm gonna I am gonna throw one thing out there. Um one interesting thing about the hand. The hand plus finger. They seem to be real world objects rendered in the actual world. The fire axe you hold is the only other item a time, the only other item you get which does this as well that does this as well. All the other items when you examine them are not affected, are not affected, I guess it would be affected instead of affected, are not affected by the world, I lighting, objects, etc. But the hand plus finger are, they get light from light sources, shadow from shadows, can clip through real world objects. I find it interesting why they would render the hand plus finger in the real world, even if it doesn't lead to anything right now. <clears throat> Everyone only found the items in the drawer, stuck again. I'm not convinced the mannequins weren't part of it. They were the looking in the corner makes me think there's something there. I went to the act first, knocked them over, then went down, watched the derelict house tape. Now they've respawned. Also, sorry, this has been mentioned before I got sub. Da, 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 da. When I pointed the dummy finger, da, 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 I would say it's some, uh, just kind of catching up with the topics. Mind blown, I guess I'm a trigger. Okay, so I was just messing around points left hand around. This happened, apparently this was a scripted event that happens after exploring the attic. Sorry guys. Record the audience, speed up, you got here, don't go in audible without her. Uh speed up, this sounds like this is what it sounded like at first. Ton carved out. I don't don't go down down with her. Her. Sounds like don't go down without her. Yeah, it does that anyways. It's a it's a new scripted scare. Sound. Let's see what the audio people are talking don't about. Go, don't, uh, All right, I don't have my headphones on. I'm gonna play that so I can hear it there for a second. So. Hmm. That's kind of interesting. Wow. Well, that's that. Interesting, but still though. Going from there, when is the demo available for free in the US? I already read that. Anything about Phantom Hand? Probably a glitch, but it reminds me of the Phantom Hands I would occasionally see, many of which would wave to me when I was growing up in real life. <laughs> That's the story. That's just the character's hand. You notice? No. Anything since I looked? Probably. Maybe, actually. Nano Machine's son. She's Jack Star. You can see above the fireplace that there's a girl. I'm assuming that is the ghost girl. Da 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 da. Alright, well, that's that. Hmm.
Nothing there. Anyways, I think that'll be the 